Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Yesterday I received an email from a gentleman and he was talking about the clone and stamp and erase tools in Luminar 4. Whenever you use any of those tools, Luminar creates a new stamped layer for that tool and that stamp layer is put at the top of the layer stack. And because it's a stamped layer, any of the layers below it become irrelevant. And that is a problem. And he asked me if I could suggest a workflow that will best utilize these tools. Now, first I'm going to demo exactly what the issue is. And to me, it is a significant issue and it could, could cause some issues. Now I have this image here and I've already done some essentials processing to it. And for the sake of argument, let's just say that I want to remove this seagull off in the distance. So I'm going to use the erase tool. So I'm gonna to go to canvas and I'm gonna click on erase. And when you click on erase, you'll see at the top, it's saying preparing. And it does that for clone and stamp as well. And what Luminar is actually doing, it's creating a new stamped layer. So all the layers below it, in this case, I only had one, but even if you had more than one, it combines all those layers and all those adjustments get baked into this new stamped layer that goes on top. And then, in my case, because I'm using the erase tool, the erase tool adjustments go on that new stamped layer. All right, the erase tool workspace has opened and I have my little eraser and I'm going to just erase this seagull way off in the distance. Now I'm just going to remove that one and I'm going to click done. So now it's actually erasing the seagull and it will open up, uh, open back up into the normal Luminar 4 workspace with that seagull gone. All right, now if we go up to layers and we look, we see we have the erased image layer. This is actually a stamped layer and all the adjustments below it, as I mentioned, are irrelevant. Well, as I look at the image, it's really way too sharp. I put way too much detail on it in it and I wanna go back in and readjust it. So I could go back to the layer at the bottom and when I do that, it turns off the topped erase stamp layer. So my seagull is back, right? But this layer is now active, my original layer. So I could go to the uh, essentials panel and I could go to details enhancer and I could undo all this, let's say, crazy amount of detail I added to the image. And actually to make this more obvious, I'm going to do something else. I'm gonna to go to AI enhance and I'm just going to like crank it let it kick in. All right. Now that looks, I know it looks hideous. I'm doing it on purpose. All right. So there's AI enhance. So I've done these adjustments now to that original layer. Now I'm going to go back up to my uh, layers panel and I'm going to turn back on that erased image layer. And you'll see that it overwrote all those adjustments because now all those adjustments below it become irrelevant. And again, specifically what he was asking me was what he could do or what type of workflow can he utilize to best use these tools. So I am going to do my best to try to show you what to do. So I'm gonna erase that layer and we're gonna to go to this and I think we'll just go down to the history tabby thing down here and we'll go back to the original. So we're gonna undo everything, all right? So we're going to go back to essentials, all right? Now my suggestion for a workflow is if you are sure you're going to have to use the erase tool or the clone and stamp tool is to do it first, do it right away. So as I look at this image, I want to get rid of this seagull. So I will go up to the layers, I will, or I'm sorry, I go up to canvas, I'll go to erase. It's going to create that new stamp layer. Now it doesn't matter because I haven't done any adjustments uh, to this image yet. So I have my erase tool open. I will erase that seagull off in the distance and I will click done. Now, once it comes back, we're gonna have two layers. We're gonna have the original layer, which I didn't do anything to, which is now irrelevant. And then it's going to have this erased image layer. Now I could go in and start doing adjustments to this erased image layer, but I suggest you don't do that. What I suggest you do is you click on the little plus sign in the layers panel and add a new adjustment layer. So now we have three layers. We have the original layers layer, which is irrelevant. I didn't do anything to it. We have the erased image layer where I erased that seagull. 
and then I have this adjustment layer. All right, so now this adjustment layer is where I'm going to do my adjustments. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to go to AI Accent and just do an adjustment here so we could see something. All right, so we have an obvious adjustment. I don't like it much, but it is what it is. All right, so I did it. Now I look at the image and I say, oh, I've missed a seagull. I need to re erase this one as well. Well, here's what you do. Go to your uh, layers panel, click on your erased image layer. Now it turned off the layer above it, so our adjustments are turned off, but that's okay. Now go to the canvas panel. We're gonna click on erase again. It's going to create another stamped layer but that stamp layer will be below our adjustments. Now I'll come in and I'll erase this seagull and I'll click done. Now, when it comes back into the regular Luminar 4 workspace, both seagulls will be gone. Be gone. And when I go up to the layers uh, panel, you'll see that I have now two erased image layers, the original layer, and then at the very top, I have my adjustment layer. And when I turn that back on, our adjustments will come back and both seagulls are gone. So that is my suggested work suggested workflow. Uh, when you have an image, examine it very carefully and determine if you need to use the erase and clone and stamp tools and do that right away. Then add an adjustment layer and do your adjustments on the adjustment layer. Then if you missed anything with clone and stamp, go back down to the clone and stamp layer so that will turn off your adjustment layer and then do whatever you need to do erase and now this adjustment layer I should make note uh, my adjustments are here they didn't go away so I could come back in and readjust things like that so that's my suggested workflow I hope that helps uh, everyone better utilize Luminar 4 and utilize these specific tools the erase clone and stamp tools Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>